They arrested Craig Hunt on what grounds? Well, the alleged murder weapon was found in the suspect's room. The, the alleged murder weapon? What did ballistics have to say? Not a whole lot, sir. But they did run uh, tests, right? To, to match the bullet that killed Quinn? Well, sir, not, not exactly. Why not? They lost the bullet? Castillo. Hi, honey, it's me. Hi, sweetie, how you doing? Okay. I uh, just, you know, called to, uh... I got the tree today. Without me and the kids? Well, the kids are there. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I just thought that I needed to brighten things up a little bit. Yeah. It looks nice. Uh-huh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it does. Well, we won't put any of the decorations on without you. Okay, I'd appreciate that. We're going to have to build a fence around this thing uh, this year, you know, to keep the kids from climbing over the top and stealing that uh, little gingerbread Santa. Uh, Chip already told me he wants to put the tree in the kitchen so that he can stick the top in the refrigerator. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it is going to be wonderful, darling. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I can't tell you how much. I don't suppose you've uh, heard anything new. Well, nothing, nothing worth uh, discussing. So really, everything is okay. We just need uh, a little more time to defang the DA, and then we'll all have a real enjoyable Christmas. A little time. And that's all we need. You know what I mean? Could you hang on a minute? The, uh, there's somebody at the door, and I'm expecting Mom. Sure. Okay, hold on. Hang on. Okay. I guess it'd be too much to expect that we. Uh, we're actually efficient enough to think to look for fingerprints on the alleged murder weapon? Well, they can only pull one, sir. It was on the trigger. I see. So we have uh, a gun that we can't begin to tie to the crime that happens to have one of the owner's fingerprints on it. And for this, we have arrested Mr. Hunt. Well, actually, sir, the, the print was Kelly Capwell's. Cruz? Cruz, what about Kelly? Yeah. What about Kelly? Um, Bob here was just asking me how she was. Keith hasn't pulled any more stunts? Darling, you let me worry about that, okay? Well, Cruz, it's only a matter of time. Yes, it is. Yeah, I just don't know how much longer I can... It'll take as long as it takes, right? I don't see that we have a choice in this matter. If you want to see justice served, sometimes you have to be patient. You know what I mean? You let me know the minute anything happens? Absolutely. Now I think I'd better get back to this. All right. I see it. I don't suppose we have a statement from the alleged suspect. I mean, that would be going by the book. We couldn't have that, could we? Would you bring Mr. Hunt in here for me, please? I'd like to hear what he has to say for himself. Kelly's fingerprint on another gun. Sure. Pretty dismal looking, isn't it? No, I think it has enormous potential. It's as if it's had its day. Christmas is over. All the ornaments have been stripped off, thrown in the trash, not even a bit of tinsel to hang on to. But humbug to you, too. Mom, I'm just having a hard time getting into the spirit this year, that's all. I can't imagine why, baby. I take it there's nothing new on the investigation? No. Keith must be having an off day. How's Kelly? She's okay under the circumstances. How are you? Are you all right? Why wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you've been under enormous pressure for an awfully long time and you're the only one that realized that Kelly was in danger and the only one that figured out Robert wasn't who exactly we thought he was, so to speak. We should have all listened to you. Mama, I should have gotten to it earlier. I hung back too long. 
Because you were trying to protect yourself. And I nearly got her killed no, in the process. No, you didn't. Mom, when did that? I, co I could have stopped all of this. I didn't, I didn't. Forget it. This. The tabloids are having a field day with this. So is Keith Timmons, just our luck that he happens to come right back to town at a time like this. I'm sure Keith Timmons thinks his timing is perfect. Unfortunately, he doesn't realize how right he is. Look, you read the report. I told you what I told Timmons. End of story. Tell me again. Starting with how Kelly's fingerprints got on the gun if you shot Quinn. She held it first. I guess I didn't do a good job wiping the prints. Well, that's an easy mistake to make. So let's take it from the top one more time, shall we? What, do you think I'm going to change my story? Well, you never know. You might remember something new. All right. I was in the secret passageway. Somebody cold cocked me. Who? I don't know. I didn't get a good look at him. Who do you think it was? Quinn. Who else? And what happened when you came to? I found out the basement door was locked, so I went up the ladder to the hallway upstairs. And that's when you first saw Kelly. Right. She was struggling with Quinn. They were fighting over the gun. He was trying to get it away from her. The gun dropped. I picked it up. He came at me. And I shot him. Just like that. You didn't ask him to stop or nothing. You just blew him away. He was trying to hurt Kelly. Go on. Well, then she passed out. So I, um... Brought her into the living room, put her on the sofa. Uh, so the uh, elevator was working again by then? Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I use the stairs. And then what happened, Craig? Well, then I went back down the passageway and came up later like it was the first time. You know the rest. What I know about this case, you could tattoo on the face of a flea. But I have some ideas and one of the ideas that plays across my mind is that perhaps you are embellishing this story which begs the question why why would you confess to a murder you didn't commit unless perhaps you wanted to protect someone you cared about cruise your way out of line no i why do i feel almost certain here craig that you are trying to take the fall for kelly what I don't understand is what makes you think Kelly shot Quinn in the first place? In other words, what the hell do you know about this that you're not telling me? Look, I'm not covering for anybody. I'm telling you what happened, and I don't know why you don't believe me. Well, maybe I should believe you. On the other hand, I guess I need to explore the possibilities, don't I? Why don't you tell me one more time how you got that gun? Look, you think you're going to try to trip me up here? No, I can't trip you up. How could I trip you up? You already confessed to killing the man. You have nothing to hide. You're telling the truth, right? So tell me about the gun. When I came to, I found the basement door was locked. So I took the ladder upstairs into the hallway. saw Kelly struggling with Quinn. They were fighting over the gun. He was trying to take it away from her. At one point the gun dropped. I picked it up. He came at us and I shot him. in my room later before I had a chance to hide it. That was tough luck. 
Could be worse. I could be Quinn. And that's all you have to say, Quinn. And that's all I have to say. Bob! He's all yours. Excellent liar. No. Listen, uh, about that tree. Oh, I didn't think you'd be calling back so soon. Well, I've been uh, hung up on this tree thing. Do you, want, do you want to hear my idea? Sure. Well, what do you say we decorate the tree tonight? We could get all the old boxes down out of the closet and uh, do the drill, you know? We'll wonder how come all the best ornaments were mysteriously broken again inside their boxes. And we'll spend hours untangling the lights and only to discover that they don't work once we get them on the tree. We'll have a bunch of eggnog and both have indigestion uh, sometime after midnight. Well, it sounds like the holidays to me. I'm just kidding. You know, there's always the mistletoe, right? You got a deal? able to for a while. She just never got around to mentioning it. Mason and Robert went down with her to the police station. I'm on my way with each other. Reach your mother, please. Of course. Daddy, you tell Kelly everything's going to be all right. Yeah, all it damn well better be. I'll talk to you later. Mrs. C, is Kelly around? You haven't heard you. What? Timmy just came in and arrested her. Quinn's murder. I can't say him. Eden doesn't know, does she? I just told her why. Oh my God. Where is she at home? Something else wrong, Cruz? I just want to make sure Eden's okay. Of course she's not okay. She's worried sick about her sister. I'm on way to the police station. Do what you can for Kelly. You don't have to ask. Come on, baby. Pick up. is going for the gold. See all those reporters outside? Personally invited by that scum. They could break his neck. You can try to deny bail, you think? Absolutely. Why not shoot the moon? But he can argue till he's blue. He does not have the grounds to pull this off. Although that's never stopped him before. But even a judge in his back pocket is going to have to say he does not have a case. Probable cause, my eye. Probable cause to have Timmons committed. You just make sure that Raymond is scheduled as soon as possible. Well, the first step is the bail hearing, and I will do everything I can. I'll be right back. We're we going to get you through this as quickly as possible. Robert, there's nothing you can do. I was bound to happen. I'm just glad it's over. Well, don't let Timmons hear you say that. 
He's only got you in here because he can't pin it on anybody else. There's no way he's going to make this stick. You just ride this out and keep your mouth shut. Not a word to anybody, Kelly. The last thing you want to do is to make life easier for the prosecution. I know that you are all trying to help and I appreciate it, but just because Keith hasn't proven that I am guilty does not mean I'm innocent. Will you keep your voice down? I may have committed the murder. I know I wanted to. Who's to say I didn't? Who can prove it? Excuse me. Where's Eden? Not here. I thought you found her. Wasn't she at the house? Well, I, I didn't go by. There was no answer when I called, so I tried her mother's and I tried the TV station. No luck. I thought sure she'd be here. Why don't you leave a message? The answering machine wasn't on. I'm going to call again. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. You can have some of Grandma's special Christmas cookies as soon as I get done talking to you for a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. I need to go away for a little bit. But I'll be back real soon, I promise. I wish I could take you with me, but not on this trip. We we'll be back for Christmas. Well, I'll sure try. Will Santa Claus still leave your presents here? No, it's busy. Well, at least you know where she is. Listen, Mr. C, I hate to run out on you like this right now, but I have got to speak to her, so I'll be back when I have. Wait, wait a minute, can't you at least tell me what is wrong? Probably nothing, but I have to make sure. It won't be long. Now, I want you both to know, especially you, since you're so grown up, uh -huh. that Daddy and Grandma are going to need a lot of special help while Mommy's gone. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that I love you both very, very much. Uh -huh. Why don't you go in the kitchen and get some cookies, like I promised, but only have a couple, okay, because I don't want you to spoil your dinner? Okay, go on. Go get some cookies. Come on, you want Oh my gosh. So, uh, where's mommy? She's gone. Was she okay? No, she's sad. She was sad. And well, don't you worry about it because mommy's gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. 